Okay, I was watching the planet Jupiter and I was using this Delos 14mm with the Barlow Celestron Ultima series Barlow. And I changed to this uh, TMB planetary 3.2mm uh, eyepiece. <laughs> what a surprise. I saw the Callisto on the face of the planet Jupiter, like a dot. And I looked on the uh, planetarium program and I could see it actually it was there and it's amazing, beautiful sight. I wish I could photograph it better but it's difficult. I mean the image I could see with this cheap 23 pound eyepiece was equal to the uh, 2.4 Vixen HR which cost 250 pound. That's equal to that. <laughs> China rules. <laughs> they really don't well on this. Okay, this is the Bother Morpheus uh, 6.5 millimeter eyepiece. And I've used the Barlow to increase this to um, this a Celestron Ultimus SV series two times. So that's practically means it is around 3.25 times. 3.25 millimeter. So it's really high magnification and in equal almost to this. The image quality, I can say that's double of this. <laughs> um, 14 millimeter butter Morpheus is really good. 6.5 is a sweet eyepiece. It's just superior. Superior to anything that I have in this range. And if you look at the bottom Morpheus, it glows in the dark. So you can read the number. Six point five. Okay, now I'm using the Pentax XW three point five millimeter, and it's not sharper than the Barlow Bother Morpheus six point five. That is three point twenty five with the Barlow millimeter. So this one is slightly sharper. You can see more detail atmosphere of the Jupiter and the dot which is a Callisto is very visible but practically there is no effort needed to see the Callisto it should not be like that but this Myriad 3.5 mm 110 degrees is sharper than the Pentax <laughs> Cannot be true. It should not be like that. I cannot believe this. <laughs> this is 250 pounds. This is, I think, 160, 70, depending when you have bought it. You can buy it even, you know, 90 pounds second hand. It's sharper than the Pentax. 3.5 equal. Focal length equal. The thing about the myriad is that I don't need to look at the eyepiece like this. I can look from the corner like this and I can see the image. <laughs> okay, with the 110 degree eyepiece like this 3.5, I can get the magnification that uh, this one can give me or this one or this one or the Barlow Morpheus. But the thing is that I can because the field of view is very large, I can see, for example, Titan, the satellite of the Saturn, and a f very farther and uh, uh, far more away from the Saturn satellite, like uh, Iapetus, I can also see it. 
so quite large area of the sky but the same magnification you can see and it takes a long time for the object to drift uh, from one corner of the eyepiece to another corner to the next corner so it's quite yeah quite uh, relaxed although I like the relaxed eye relief and everything of the pen Pentax uh, this one is also a tad better in the image quality or equal or a little bit better but the white field of it is really unsurpassed you cannot compare this with that that is 70 only cannot be true other Morpheus 6.5 with the bardo two times is sharper than the Pentax 3.5 on Saturn <laughs> Seeing condition is changing, my eyes is improving, or really these eyepieces are, are different. Yes, you can see the Cassini gap with this. <laughs> a Pentax has a purity in color. The rings of Saturn are white, the planet itself is slightly yellow, and the equatorial part of it is, has some darker yellow kind of near orange or brown so really pure color which one I prefer I prefer this one that is good cheaper but if you can have that one that's good color is pure with this one you see the ring also a little yellow the Morpheus, but with this one, the ring of Saturn is white, which is true. This is ice, it's made of ice, and yet this team be planetary 23 pound bout triumphantly, <laughs> very competitively compares with the Pentax, all these expensive ones which are all above 150 pound more than the Pentax is 250 and this 23 pound delivers similar to them had a little bit less but that's the price difference you pay 250 or 23 pound which one you like so here I have tested and observed the Jupiter, planet Jupiter and planet Saturn with these eyepieces in total six and I use the Delos as a finder um, what can I say about them? the best picture, the best image I had was with the Pentax 3.5 closely matching by this 3.5 closely matching by the Barlow 6.5 Morpheus and uh, really close to this 3.2 and 2.5 which is a different price range and I use the Barlow on that so if you don't have the money and you want to see good planetary views go for this TMB planetary TMB2 planetary from China all the range, get all the range from 12.5 to 9. You don't go wrong. <laughs> These ones, especially 2.5 of it, is really good. And but if you have the money, you want to splash Pentax, Morpheus, Marriott. Which one is more comfortable? Um, I prefer this, the color is more pure. And then this, then this also. These two are very close course but uh, this is 2.5 very wide field this is almost like a Nagler this one that is like Etis that's the finder one I prefer for observing the planets 10 millimeter Delos better than this it's not bad but 10 millimeter when it's borrowed it becomes 5 millimeter and really good with this borrow Celestron 2 times Barlow Ultima SV series. Really good Barlow.
Okay, now I have modified my um, um, Meet ETX uh, uh, 125 to accept. Heavier. 